The drop to arm test is performed with the patient standing. They should bring their arms into full abduction on both sides. The patient is then instructed to slowly lower their arms down to their sides with their palms facing upwards. The examiner is looking for a failure to control the drop of one arm compared bilaterally, which typically occurs around 90 degrees. An inability to lower the arms in a controlled manner is indicative of a lesion to the rotator cuff, especially the supraspinatus.